So, home defense. The 9mm has more penetration. It's going to be more likely to over-penetrate. So that's a consideration when you're choosing them. Um, but that just makes shot placement even more uh, important. And so, and therefore, training is more important. Um, okay, so that's penetration. So the 9mm penetrates greater than the 40 and the 45. The 40 penetrates greater than the, four, than the 45. So that's the, that's the, I guess, your penetration scale. Okay? Energy scale, 45 obviously has the most in general. The 40 caliber has the second, and the 9mm is the weakest in energy overall. So, so which one's the best? Which one will kill you faster than, than the others? Well, that's a hard question to answer because even though on paper the 45 has more energy, um, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to kill you faster. It's going to open up, you know, like a, my favorite round is Spears. I love Spears Gold Dot. They are a very well-rounded... Uh, performing bullet and and that's what I choose to carry most most times there's a lot of other ones out there that are great but I just like the consistency that the Spears puts out okay so the Spears if you're talking gold dot in all calibers the 45 obviously is gonna gonna expand to the greatest uh, the greatest diameter, but when you when you put it inside of a torso or inside of flesh, it's really hard to tell the difference between the wounding of a 9mm, 40, and 45. In fact, experts can't really tell the difference. If it's a modern hollow point, the wound channels look almost virtually identical. There's not there's hardly any way to uh, to guess or determine what was used until the bullet's removed. That goes to show, I mean, we're talking, when you put it all on paper, we're talking, there's not that much difference between all three of them with a modern hollow point. Now, round nose is a totally different story, but if you're talking a modern hollow point, it, uh, they all perform. They perform really well, and, and it pretty much equalizes uh, each, three, each of the top three rounds. Now, notice I'm not talking about 44 mag or 357 or 10 mil. Um, those are kind of different. And maybe I'll do a different video on all those. But I'm just talking about these three. Um, so, other considerations as to why I choose the 9 millimeter. Um, for one, uh, my wife can handle it. In a full-size pistol, 9mm is poppy, a 40 caliber is snappy, and a 45 ACP is pushy. That's how I describe the recoil on all three of those. When I chose, when I chose a gun, I want it to be able to be used by every member of my family. Well, minus my young kids, but um, and my wife can use a, a 9mm. Uh, 45, she's not going to like as much. 40 caliber, it's too snappy for it. But 45, uh, but but 9 mil is controllable, and it doesn't scare her off. So she would be more likely to practice and train with the 40 or with the 9 mil than a 40 or a 45. So therefore, her proficiency at handling a 9 millimeter full-size pistol would be much greater than with the with the other two rounds. Man, I think that covers it. I think that really shows why I chose the 9mm. Uh, you know, I hear this I hear this crap all the time, and I might make a second part to this video about how, and this is this is my favorite uh, saying when it comes to the 45 ACP. <laughs> well, with my 45 ACP, I can hit them in the hand and knock them down. And I think, you're a retard. 
because how much energy is still retaining retained in the bullet as it passes out of the hand. You're, de you're depositing probably 40 pounds of energy. That's nothing. Maybe psychologically, if you shoot someone in the hand, maybe psychologically they'll drop. But that goes the same. That goes with the same saying in all calibers, just about. This whole idea that 45 is the absolute supreme um, bullet, and it, there's none other that even comes close, is asinine at best. It's ignorant. It's pride of ownership. I realize that. But that's okay. You know, I mean, I like that. I like pride of ownership as well. Uh, which is partly why I'm, I'm doing this video. But you know what? I'm not. I'm not uh, a nine millimeter fanboy. I'm just saying this is. These are the reasons why I chose it. Um, 40 cal, fantastic round. Doesn't penetrate as much as a nine mil. Uh, doesn't have the energy or stopping power as a 45 ACP. It's kind of right in the middle. Intermediate cartridge, you could say. But by no means a slouch. That's for sure. And that's why the law enforcement uses that in general. So, anyway, uh, that, that's not kind of some of my thoughts on the 9mm and uh, why I've, I've chosen it. My chosen uh, WROL gun or full size handgun for home defense is the MP Smith & Wesson MP9. And uh, that's never had a problem with it. By far the nicest pistol I've ever shot. Um, comfort wise it's just amazing I mean the thing is so stinking smooth I couldn't believe it you know I shoot that next to a Glock 17 and you know the Glock 17 you can I mean I could feel I can feel the uh, the Glock go out of battery I can feel the slide come back I can feel the barrel drop I can feel the slide go forward on an on a on a Glock 17 I feel every single thing that has occurring in that pistol when I shoot it with my nine, with my my M and P nine, when I pull that trigger, it's just like one smooth, solid motion, and it just works flawlessly, and it's just like the creme brulee of pistols. But that's just me. So, and like I said, I've shot a lot of I've shot a lot of different pistols. The M and P nine, I'm just hugely impressed with. I should do a review on the one I've got just to show you guys. But anyway. That's nine mil. So there'll probably be a second parter to this as I annotate. Maybe I'll put some. Maybe I'll talk some more physics. I'm kind of a science buff, and uh, I could really uh, talk some physics on some of these rounds and and uh, kind of what they do um, when they leave the barrel and terminal ballistics, things like that. So anyway, uh, hope that was helpful to anybody. Please comment. Correct me on anything if you feel so so inclined. Uh, just remember that the stuff that I'm talking about isn't, this isn't, uh, you know, take it as a grain of salt. Take it as a data point. Whatever you want to do. And uh, just, you know, don't get too upset over it. So, anyway, have a good time, guys. We will uh, see you later. Stay safe.